It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 25th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. This is my third time. Third time's charm, right? <laughs> We're just going to see what comes up. Remember, the timing is fluid. You could watch this reading uh, a week from now, and it, you know, for me, they tend to play out about a week later, maybe a couple days later, whatever. So if you go back a few days and you watch one or a week ago, it may resonate with you now. I, I hear that the most. The first thing I saw in my other, my very first one that I did for the upcoming energy was a rose, which means romance is in the air, right? It's all about love. It's all about finding love, finding romance, finding a relationship. My last one was really, really good, but I had, I had to sneeze at the end of it. So I had to, I'm going to have to put it together and edit it. So I might share that. It's a pretty good reading. Um, but anyway, we're going to start fresh. We're going to start fresh here. Now, what I just saw just now for this reading was the Ace of Wands, which is a new spark, a new desire, a new vision, a sudden attraction or a sudden change. So I think there's there's something happening pretty fast, um, suddenly, right? The Ace of Wands is suddenly, so there's a sudden change. And it probably has to do with a relationship. Um, so what do we have? Queen of Cups Reverse. Now the Queen of Cups Reverse could be a very emotional time. Emotions, emotions all over the place. When you get the, there could be some deep sadness. There could be some disappointment. There could be some jealousy. There could be some self-loathing with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Maybe get a bunch more cards. The King of Cups. Wow. Yeah, we could have a masculine that is making the feminine emotional, or she could just be being a bitch. Um. Hmm. Well, we could have a we could have a woman that is overly emotional. She can't master her emotions, and he it looks like he's looking at her, right? He's looking at her all emotional. He's looking at her. He's feelings though. He has genuine feelings. So this guy has feelings for her. He probably knows that she's been hurt. The Queen of Cups in reverse has obviously been hurt. She may be she may be in some sort of pain, heartache heartache so we have a, a masculine that is feeling maybe he's feeling her pain you know because these are both feeling individuals so they 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 may be speaking to each other even like telepathically or something you know because this is a very very feeling energy it's very emotional um somebody is feeling it's almost like the masculine is feeling her pain Five of Cups reversed. So, Five of Cups reversed. This is um, a deep depression. There is somebody that is going through a deep depression. And, and it maybe it's the feminine. I don't know. Maybe it's the masculine. But the Five of Cups reversed could also be a reunion. It could be somebody coming back. Um, there's been some prolonged grief and the five of cups can also be forgiveness. So there could be some, some forgiveness here where, you know, uh, we have this, this masculine that, um, or, or this could be seizing a new opportunity with the five of cups. He may, this could be somebody completely new that wants to help this person heal, that knows she has been through pain, Right. So realizing that this is a real prospect, but this person has been in a lot of pain, has been hurt very badly. Um, starting fresh. It's interesting because as I started this out, I said, we're going to start fresh. We are. We're going to start fresh here. We're going to start from the beginning. Start over. So this is what this is. It's starting over, starting fresh starting fresh you have somebody here look at that it looks like a straight jacket to me this guy's gone crazy he's gone crazy he's been going crazy he's been going nuts has he he has he has she probably feels it she knows it and he knows it too but anyway this guy's been going nuts um but this is starting fresh look at these he's been look at the demons been plaguing him plaguing him plaguing him but this is a fresh start this guy may have acted foolishly, made some foolish decisions, made some poor decisions, acted recklessly. The minute they take that jacket off, he is going to leap. He is out. He is gone. He ain't no stopping him either. Um, 
King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this, we, we all take on these energies. These are just energies. But this is, uh, this guy has something in his hand, okay? Something solid, something stable, something long-term, a gift, okay? He may be coming with gifts. Somebody may be coming with gifts. He may or an offer, a solid offer. He's obviously been thinking about it, driving himself nuts, thinking about what he has to offer, if he should offer it, should he take this risk. There could be a little bit of fear here. He may be a little bit paranoid. Um, Two of Swords reversed. Now that is blocked. Blocking emotions. But that's truth coming out. Coming out of denial. Exposure. Some Something coming out. Unblocking. Telling the truth. Somebody may be coming forward with the truth. Speaking up. Opening their eyes. Opening their mouth. Unblocking their heart. Stepping forward. The world reversed. Now there could be some unfinished business here. Lack of closure. Oh, Okay. So the world reversed. That's that's a uh, frustration. Refusing to re explore new avenues, refusing to listen to anyone. Somebody that is entitled, somebody that um, refuses to listen. Just somebody that has a really big ego. Resists resists change too much. But with the two of swords reversed, this is beginning to open up. I think there's been a level of indecision, but starting to see the truth, perhaps about something that ended improperly. There may have been an improper ending here. Um, the world card reversed. Lack of closure. Unfinished business. Hmm. Not learning from mistakes. We have somebody here that doesn't learn from their mistakes. So they're going to keep repeating them. The star card. The star card. Now the star card is a card of help. Help. And uh, hoping. Hoping for the best. Making a wish. A wish being granted. Healing. Somebody is hoping that they will get what they want. They're wishing. They're hoping and wishing. Wishing for a renewal. Wishing for something. Help is arriving. This is uh, a wish being granted. Wishing they could go back. Wish We have somebody here that is wishing that they could go back. Six of Wands reverse and the Ace of Swords reverse. Now, there's no victory because there's a lack of communication. If you don't communicate, it's not going to work. So we got somebody here that rather run away, run away from their problems than communicate. And communication is key. So there's been a lack of success in 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 uh, progressing a relationship or 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 having it be successful because there was a lack of communication and there probably was an abuse of power and somebody wasn't telling the truth or they weren't opening up or they may have been being secretive or something like that and that has caused um a loss i mean the six of wands reverse is a loss there's a setback okay somebody that is very prideful and cocky and is all show somebody that is over inflated and has a big ego um, somebody that follows the pack that um, doesn't have any staying power. Okay, so we got somebody here that is losing. They're losing with the Six of Wands reversed. They're losing their power. The Ace of Swords reversed. So we have somebody here that is losing their power. They're losing their power. Maybe this is a narcissist. You could be dealing with a narcissist. But anyway, somebody is losing their power. They're losing their power. Queen of Swords reverse. The Queen of Swords reverse is somebody that is very brash. You notice she's got heads. You know, she she rip your head right off. Okay, the Queen of Swords in reversed is uh 
vindictive, revengeful, bitter. Um, hold on, I'm just throwing my phone over there. She's bitter. She's hard to deal with. She She's a fighter. She's brash. She is not one to mess with. Okay, we got the Queen of Swords in reverse here. She's... She doesn't really need anybody. She can take care of herself. Should anybody step on her toes, she will step right back. She can be a little bit uh, intimidating. She can be a bitch, okay? So we we have this this person here that is intimidating and she doesn't give away her power. She she does not give away her power at all. So we do have um somebody that has lost their power and she somebody may have turned into a bitch. They may have turned bitter. They may have turned bitter because of abuse, even. There may have been some abuse that's, that, that may have caused somebody to become bitter. So I think we have, um, it feels as though we have a masculine, okay? I do believe it is a masculine that is feeling a feminine's pain, okay? They're feeling a feminine's pain. And they are probably thinking about taking a risk and offering her something. Um, but they're a little bit fearful still. They're a little bit fearful. I think they're fearful of rejection. I think that they have lost their power. They have lost their power over this queen. And she's like laughing in his face. It feels like she's laughing. If you notice that queen of swords, she's got like this, this malicious laugh on her face. She's kind of got this little laugh. She's kind of like laughing or something like that or whatever. Um, but deep down, she's hurt, okay? She's hurt. That 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 laugh is superficial. But anyway, um, now there's a lack of communication. There's a, there's a loss of power. Somebody's not telling the truth. But they're hoping and wishing. They're hoping and wishing that they could go back. They're hoping and wishing that they could make it right. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is about putting in effort. You know, working really, really hard. Creating something. So we have somebody that has the skills... This person has the skills to create something wonderful, to get, get what they want. They do have the skills. But they have to take action. The Knight of Wands, act now, think later. So I feel like we do have somebody here that is Seven of Cups reversed, that's becoming clear of what they need to do. So I do feel like there is somebody that is entering with an exciting offer okay this person is coming and they are going to it's going to be like a sudden decision they have been thinking about it yes but it's like they all of a sudden they just decide uh it's time for me to go it's time for me to make this offer it's time for me to step outside of my fear and take this risk and leap into this unknown territory so i do feel like there is somebody that is about to put an effort and take action and go after something and they're going to come with something it's like they're going to have a, they're going to come with a gift it's like they're going to have something in their hand this person um is 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 going after this this woman feminine that has been hurt really badly Okay, we got the Queen of Cups reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed. This is, and I think it's the same person that has grown a little bit cold. Okay, this person has grown cold and this person may have grown bitter because of her pain. Okay, this person is a warrior though. I feel like he's a warrior. You know, he's got some sort of armor on. This guy is, is going to fight. He's going to fight and he's going to take action. He's going to put in effort to open her up. I think he is. Um, he, he is. I think that there is a message that is coming or he's may even show up. It's like showing up or something like that. This guy takes action. He takes action. And he's coming with something, an offer of something. And it's a big offer. And it's something solid. He is hoping and wishing for the best. And he it's like he's been praying, 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 praying for what? Oh, the, the Knight of Cups, praying for love, praying for a relationship, pray, praying for 
romance. I mean, the Knight of Cups is an offer of love. Somebody who is looking for a relationship, looking for love. This is a romantic, okay, coming with an offer of love. You've been praying for acceptance. So we have somebody here that is coming in with an exciting offer of love. Some, And I feel like this person is a hard worker. They are very skilled. This person, I don't know if this person works with wood, definitely works with some sort of tools, maybe a knife. Um, carves things, maybe. Maybe maybe woodworking or uses a knife. And I feel like this person uses a knife. doesn't have to be. Um, may also uh, work with cooking. Well, knives work with cooking. Whatever. Anyway, any, any kind of... Um, saw, knife, any kind of knife kind of tool, you know, where they have to cut things, you know, I think the person, the ma masculine has to use some sort of, uh, cutting tool. Um, I just, I don't know why I, because of this card right here, that's why I think that some sort of cutting tool, whether, and then they, there's so many professions that could use that, you know, a cutting tool. There's all different kinds of cutting tools. Um, this person may also work with money. Okay, the masculine may work with money or with, with uh, dishes. That's why I said cooking, because I said the dishes or um, uh, art, maybe art, maybe does painting or maybe an artist of some sort um, creates things or something like that. Um, Yeah, so I think there's an offer of love coming in that is very genuine. I think it is very, very genuine. And this is this could be somebody that, you know, you obviously have a deep, deep connection with. The first two cards are the queen and king of the same suit or the same court. That means it's a soulmate connection. It's a soul. It does. It means it's a soulmate. It's like you feel. You feel each other. You don't. You feel each other's pain. You feel each other's pain. So I do feel as though there is um, an offer coming in that is, uh, it's from somebody that is looking for a relationship. This person is a hard worker. They are passionate. They are looking for love and they're looking for some attention and they're looking to... Uh, build something solid by the looks of things. Good luck. <laughs>